For those of you who follow the channel, you guys should know that all the music that you hear on the channel is written by me or one of my guitar players here with, with Sean Hernandez or Jesse Hunter. We're the guys writing the music. Sometimes it's used the cameraman once in a while. We mix things around, but all the music that you hear, we write. I play a lot of guitar, sing, screw around the bass and stuff like that. And uh, you guys have seen, we've started to do more music type videos and as 2019 progresses <coughs> excuse me the frog in my throat blah, 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 we are going to continue to do more things in this type of nature now you guys have seen my giant amp wall well we're going to start using it more recording stuff and in that vein i really wanted to have a pedal board that could be simply used on the front end and have a lot of cool stuff on it but not have to have as many pedals as I've had in the past. So the first thing I really wanted to do was get a pedal board that I could put all of these components on because I have all these components over here. And now um, I've been working with a guy named Christian. Um, he is the guy who works over at Eventide and he gave a lot of recommendations and stuff. So I've been following his lead. In fact, one of the products that I got is from Morningstar FX. It's this really cool i mean really super duper and cool cool midi controller we'll look at that today but first let's start off with this new tour pro 1525 this is a giant pedal board and it's by friedman if you guys don't know friedman this is dave friedman he makes all kinds of amps all kinds of stuff and um i've seen these things in person and they're made like a tank and it's big enough to actually have the pedals i want and even have the pedal for the amp on there if I want. So I just thought we'd take a quick look at this this bad boy because this thing's just humongous. I mean, I got my bat knife right here. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Bat knife. Dun -dun -dun. All right, so here we go. We got to take a little slice here. A little slice of here. A little more slices over here because there's a lot of tape on this thing thing. thing. I mean, there's a lot of tape and I'm not going to bore you guys with all the details of just the box on this particular thing because this is just a project that I'm doing. I thought I'd share with you folks. So. I thought you guys would be interested to see how it goes along. Um, on Sunday, Anthony, the guy who builds all the systems for me and stuff, he's going to come over and I will design the layout of the system and everything that's going to be done in the layout. And then Anthony will make all the cabling and everything and you know, beautiful and perfect like he's famous for. So <laughs> together as a team, we'll be doing that. I might even be out of camera right now as I do this, but I'm just trying to figure out where all the cuts and everything are in this um, gigantosaur box. Cause man, let me tell you, this thing is, as you can see, gigantosaur. It's huge. Ow. Ow. Mm. That um, did not feel good. It was not part of the video. Um, no animals were hurt in, in, in the making of this video, but I was slightly hurt in the making of this video. Uh, let's see if I can even get this thing out. Man, this thing is just crazy. I mean, uh, it looks like there's not going to be any really pretty way for me to get this out of here. I keep looking for a nice pretty way to get it out of here, but honestly, I am not seeing it. Oh, okay, wait a second. Ah, okay. We have got maneuvering here. One end is opened up. I guess I just was uh, looking at it wrong. I thought it was going to pop up from the side. But nope, it pop up is there. So, okay, excellent. Okay, buddy. Look out, little puppers. Look out. Look out. There might be a... The, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, missed him by that much. All right. Now, one thing really cool, and one of the reasons I got this particular pedal board as well, is that check this out. Inside of the, this thing is a... <laughs> get off camera again, is a giant 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 size bag take the plastic and oh and distort it as it hit the cameraman all right so looks like this is the bottom yada 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 okay so we'll take a look here but anyways a big giant case strap um, I bet inside there's probably a longer strap for putting around and carrying around as much as you want. But anyways, you've got at least a handle for it. Right now, it's kind of light, but uh, I guarantee you when you put all your pedals on it, it's going to weigh quite a bit more. This particular one is made like a tank, like I said. It's going to come with all of these accessories and stuff. So no matter what power supply that you're going to be using in this particular one, give me one second. Brand new product coming out from Eventide. Ooh, the Power Max. This thing is awesome. Um, real quick, since we're doing a video on this, 
I'll just let you guys see this. This is the box that it comes in right here. I'm not gonna do a bunch of re-camera refocusing and everything because I'm just trying to like do an overall video about this stuff, but everything in the box, you get all your instructions and all your manuals and all that stuff. But what's great about this is this device can be set. There's plugins on the side, plugins here. So you've got a total of uh, what, four, five, six, seven, seven total plugins. You've got USB. There's feet on it, which I don't really think I'm gonna be using this particular thing. And uh, every single one of these can be set for whatever voltage you want it to be. So it's an 18 volt pedal. There's some little click buttons. You just click them into position. You want 12, nine, whatever you want. It's all here, which I think is great because sometimes the pedals aren't all nine volt. Now, with this particular product, the Pro 1525, it actually has, um, they have like this, what is it, it's isolated power supply, and this other, this other little thing that like makes all your devices work in the same electrical current, so nothing uh, gets, you know, gets weird sounding. That's about all I can say. There's no electronical differences, so it makes it very quiet. Um, I wanted to use this particular power supply, so I didn't choose to get that option, but, um, this is it, and then you get all these cool connectors in here as well. So everything you want to do, all your connectors are all this type. So I'm not gonna to totally get into it, but they're all very easy, simple to use. And uh, this will work great for my purposes of what I'm gonna be doing. So all the material, to get it all strapped in. That's all here. Now, let me pull this out of here. And I'll gently take the case, I don't wanna thrash the case or anything. I don't think there's anything else in the case. Maybe there is. It feels like there might be something in here. Hold on. Okay. Yes. Like I said, shoulder strap. I knew it would have this. So we got a shoulder strap. I'll stick that back in there and I will try to just gently set this on the floor over here and we'll head it off to the camera. All right, there we go. Now, right now, this thing is pretty light. It's made like a tank though. And what's cool about it is it's two levels. And this particular product right here can be moved to any position on it. So if you're a lefty, you want on the left-hand side, you want on the right-hand side, you can actually buy extra ones. So if you wanted to have actually every single one of your pedals down here at a slant and with something in the middle, you could do that as well. Um, very interesting layout. Um, I like it. There's one other pedal that I have coming. It's my expression pedal. Um, it was supposed to come today, but it just didn't get here. So. In essence though, my pedal board's kind of going to be somewhat looking like this. I have these two, these are two of my favorite preamps. This one I use by itself onto a clean channel or directly in the back. This one I can use in front of, of my power tubes and it sounds just absolutely great. Then I'm going to have two of the H9s, the Maxes. So I'll have two of the H9s probably over here. I'll figure out as we go, I'll have another one right here. Now, Morningstar, this thing is pretty dang incredible. Now, online, this thing was just insanely incredible. And uh, thanks James for shipping this out to me. Now, these guys said that they would send me one of these as a review sample, but they were out of stock. So I went ahead and bought one. Hopefully the guys over there will be kind enough to send me my review sample. And then if they do, I will give this one away to you guys. So let's hope they do. So inside of here, you just get a hello, little Morningstar thing. But this hooks up to USB, so it can hook directly to your Mac or your PC. And then it's a MIDI controller. And this MIDI controller is very, very small. So I'll probably have this probably right down here. And then we'll see what's gonna go on over here. I have enough room for seven pedals in my expression pedal. So this is going to be really nice. Now, this thing, this window right here, this thing, this morning star, this particular MIDI controller is very awesome. Like I said, it has MIDI, has your instrument through, has your USB, and this little window lights up. And if you go online, you can program all of the different stuff to control the Eventide pedals. And if you have MIDI control in your amp, you can program this pedal to control all of that stuff. And like three or four of my amps that I have over here, especially like my high-end Hughes and Kettners, all have MIDI capabilities to be controlled. And I plan on taking full advantage of that. Now, there is one other product that I wish it would fit on this pedal board, and I actually wish that it was out in the market right now. And this is this brand new Boss Waza. 
and it's going to be this insane product. It's going to be insane. It's an attenuator that has all of the killer boss was effects built into it. So all of these amps that I have that are super high end that I can't play, you know, in my house because I need to crank them up. I can now play because this thing will take 150 watts and it has all those effects into it. So no reverb on the amp, hey, no problem. You want effects, no problem. And guess what? It can all be operated off this Morningstar MIDI controller. So I have a lot of fun stuff going. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, like I said, on Sunday, Anthony is going to be coming over and uh, he will be helping me put this together. I'll also have links down below. So if you guys want to check out some of these products for yourself, and by the way, there's no money being paid to me anywhere. Nobody is giving me anything. Um, these guys happen to give me the products, everything else I bought out of my pocket. So. Um, that's pretty much where it stands, but if you guys want more information or want to check out some of these products, we'll have links. And like I said, I've got a lot of more music stuff coming up. I've got a Panama amp review coming up. This is their brand new Hot Rod 18 watt, and they have a brand new speaker cabinet that has a built-in attenuator in the speaker cabinet. So you can crank that baby up and have room volume right there in your half stack. I'm Elric. You guys have been watching Tech of Tomorrow. We'll see you guys back here on the channel for more rock and more tech.